Hello everyone. Wow, what a change from my last video. This is absolutely crazy. Back when I made my um, little pineapple one, I think I had something like eight subscribers and now it's like nearly 250. So, whoo, that's pretty good going. So before I start doing all the rest of the stuff in this video, first thing I want to do is say a big thank you to Dark Matter 2525 for featuring me on his channel because I know that the majority of my subs would not be here if it wasn't for you. Um, and yeah, thanks for subbing me, people that are watching that have subbed me. If you haven't, then please do. It'd be really nice. Um, and if by some very weird fluke of YouTube, you're subbed to me, but not to Dark Matter, then go check out his stuff. He's in my subscriptions, because um, he's awesome. So yeah, on with the real content of the video. Now, one of the things that I've noticed a lot, a lot, a lot, is that there are a lot of people that don't like science or have something against it purely because they don't know what it is. It seems that there are people that believe it's some sort of giant corporation or conspiracy that's trying to either take over the world or overthrow religion. So hopefully by the end of this video you'll see that that's not what it is at all. Allow me to explain. The dictionary definition of science is the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behaviour of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. That's it. All that scientists are doing is trying to use an unbiased, objective method to find out facts about our universe. The scientific method gives us a fair, reproducible and most importantly falsifiable way of finding things out. You start by making an observation and use experience and knowledge to form a hypothesis about what's going on. Then you test your hypothesis to see if you're right. If not, you keep trying to find out what's happening by doing more experiments. Once you can suitably explain a phenomenon, you submit your results. They're reviewed by other scientists to determine whether your experiments and analyses are fair and unbiased. If so, your results are published and made available for others to test as well. Every single experiment and result that science has ever produced is constantly subject to scrutiny. If you're proven wrong, then you keep trying to find out what's right. Science is therefore a perpetual search for the truth. So now that I've explained what science and the scientific method are, my question for theists would be this. If you believe your God to be true, the ultimate truth, in fact, isn't it a little bit counterproductive to deny and in some cases deliberately try and discredit the people that have the potential to empirically prove you correct. So yeah, that's another video from me done. Um, I'm going to go order a pizza and do some hula hoop.